Hi everyone, it's Carissa and I am back with a video for you. I'm sorry I've been a little absent lately. I've had a lot going on. So I'm in my last couple weeks of nursing school. Looking forward to that being over with and graduation and that sort of thing. But I do have a card for you today and so um, let's get started. I'm going to be using paper from this die cuts with a view. It's all about the girls and this is just the mat stack. But the mat stacks are fine for card makers because... Um, you can cut this down for a card mat or cut elements out of it and it works just fine. So, um, oops, and I keep my little scraps for stacks just kind of stuck in there and then I put it in my um, shelf. So anyway, so there's an extra little tip for you. I'm going to be using um, this middle banner from the Lifestyle Crafts die set. And this is, it's already cut here, but I just wanted to show these to you because these are some of my favorite dies right now. I am loving them. They are perfect for a little sentiment across your card. And I, I just love them. So I just wanted to show you the set comes with three different sizes. I love it. I'm using the middle one. So I just want to show those to you real quick. So let's get started. I'm going to be also using the Chic Boutique stamp set from Stampin' Up! The... Um, lots of dots, I believe this is called, and a stamp set from Hero Arts as well. So, lots of stamping, lots of paper uh, layering and stuff like that on this card. This also, I'm using my Cricut on this card because I used it for the ovals. Now, um, just a quick tip on how I determine the size for my ovals. What I did was I went ahead and I knew I wanted to stamp this stamp on that oval. So I measured it on my mat, one, one inch, two inch, three inches, and I put it on real dial size on my uh, Cricut and I cut the oval like that. And then the mat is just cut a quarter of an inch larger than that. So that's how I figured what size to cut my oval with on my Cricut. So just a quick tip there for you. Let's get started. So first I'm gonna start with this polka dot paper and I'm just going to stamp this scalloped edge on it. I have a couple little paper strays, so I'll just kind of get those off of there. And then I have this really thin piece. It's about 3 16 of an inch um, piece of brown paper, or early espresso actually, that I'm going to layer over the top. So I kind of want about this much sh showing above, so I'm going to cut right between these two lines of polka dots here. So this ended up being about 3 quarters of an inch when I cut it. And I think I want about maybe a little bit more of the stripe showing. So about this like was one and a quarter, this was three quarters, and then this is about three sixteenths. So I can go ahead and layer those up. And to attach this little piece of brown paper, I'm just going to use this Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and I just kind of squeeze a little bit out and kind of spread it around. Now, the nice thing about using a wet glue, which I don't do a whole lot, but the nice thing about using a wet glue as opposed to a dry adhesive is you can kind of wiggle it into position if need be. Right there. And the other great thing, this paper, because it has a kind of line in the design, you know, a line of polka dots, kind of makes it nice for lining things up. All right, so that piece is done. And I am just going to put it right along the bottom of this piece of pattern paper. Now, when I chose my patterns for the bulk of my card, this is, you know, this is going to be the most showing. So I picked a less busy pattern rather than something like the polka dots or the stripes that are like a really busy pattern. So this is a more subdued pattern, and that's kind of how I chose my patterns for this. So just a little, you know, tidbit there. This piece, by the way, is cut at four by five and a quarter, and then I am going to layer it on a piece of old, or <laughs> old espresso, early espresso, that is um, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. start to stamp. Okay, so there's that, and then this is all going to go right on top of my crumb cake card base. Start by stamping the crumb cake ink on this uh, very vanilla oval, but 
I am going to stamp off first and that just simply means I'm going to stamp on a piece of scratch paper and then just so I can kind of align this without using a positioner I'm going to kind of roll it across. I'm going to bring in the early espresso ink and I'm going to stamp this dress form stamp. Let me stamp it on my paper. That's the dress form stamp that I'm going to be stamping. Now what I want to do is make sure that my oval is straight up and down so that when I stamp this I'm not stamping crooked. So hopefully Oh, that's pretty good. The next piece I'm going to stamp is going to be this banner. And I'm going to use a sentiment from the Everyday Things from Hero Arts. I'm going to use this You're the Best sentiment. And my plan is to have a button here. So what I'm going to do is I want the banner to go like this. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put my block on top of it, and then I'm going to shape my stamp kind of in the shape of the banner. So you kind of can see that how that's done. And then I'm going to flip it back over and I'll stamp, and that way it's going along the same lines as the banner. And I'm just going to do that in, once again, the early espresso ink. Now, I'm going to have like a button over here, so I'm not going to put it all the way to the edge. I'm going to put it more on this side of the banner. Just like that. Okay, so what I've looked at, I've decided I'm going to use a blender pen and some of the watercolor wonder crayons to kind of give this a little bit of color. That's actually good. This is Regal Rose crayon and a chocolate chip crayon. You can kind of just have a piece of scratch paper to clear your blender pen. And then like I said, all you do is kind of add the color and it doesn't have to be neat because remember you're going to spread this around with your blender pen. So that is as easy as it is, and then I can go ahead and put some dimensionals on and put it on my card. And I'm going to have two dimensionals on this side of the banner. And I'm going to have one dimensional on this side of the banner. So this banner will be popped up from the oval. So just like that. Okay, so I added a little button here and I just added some th um, like embroidery thread through the um, center of those. And then I'm just going to add a couple little touches and then we'll be done. So this is the jelly roll pin and it just kind of gives an iridescence. So I'm just going to color over this um, base of the mannequin form kind of using this just to kind of make it look maybe like metallic bronzed I don't know I don't know if you can even see that and the final step is I'm gonna use this Viva decor pearl pen in ice white and I'm gonna make I'm gonna put it on here like these little dots Add a little to the center there and then down here okay and then I just added it along the these points on the base and then along the hem of the mannequin form so there is my card for today it's kind of a general theme you can use it for just about anything you're the best maybe it's a thank you card maybe it's a thinking of you card maybe it's a friendship card I don't know it's kind of generic you could put anything you want there though so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.